The texture of the rice pudding works and finishing your dessert off with this, the sorbet, is absolutely genius. With a little hint of mint, lemon and mint, absolutely delicious. You've brought your rice pudding from where you're from, the celebration of your festivals. It's like sunshine on a plate. Alex's classic dessert is a take on a Black Forest Gatto, featuring a Baumkuchen, or tree cake, layered marzipan sponge topped with chocolate cremeux and chantilly cream, with cherry gel, Kirsch cherries, cherry ice, chocolate soil, and a creme fresh ice cream. <laughs> Alex, really like the way you presented your Black Forest Gatto. This cake, the layer cake, normally I quite like the chocolate sponge associated with a classic Black Forest. But then when you get the rich, dense cremo, that's the chocolate that, that I'm missing. And then as you're eating, you've got the fresh cherries and then you get the hit of the cash, which are all the flavours that, that you want. Really like the sorbet, because that sorbet is sour and that is a nice respite from the amount of sweetness. It's a beautiful flavoured dessert, and you have brought the flavours of Black Forest Gatto in here. Thank you very much. That cake is really good. The way you've layered it, and each layer has that sort of crunchiness, it's not too heavy, it's not too light. The chocolate, the cremo, really brings the Black Forest Gatto into it with the cherries and the kirsch. It's a really, really good dessert, that, Alex. Thanks, Chef. Thank you. When you leave the master kitchen, the one thing that you need is you need to just feel happy in your dish. And I felt really happy with my dish, and it's down to the judges now. Jono has made his take on a sticky toffee pudding, which he has infused with Earl Grey tea and wrapped in gold and silver leaf. All served with a smoked beef fat toffee sauce and a caviar ice cream. Serving the dish with champagne, pure indulgence. That's an incredible looking thing. It's almost shocking. And it's supposed to be, right? Exactly. Despite the silver and gold, which is a massive indulgence, is a relatively simple dessert in its concept, but its flavours are quite extraordinary. So where you would have like a salted caramel, we've actually got salty caviar in the ice cream, which really works for me. And the depth of your sauce goes almost on the edge of beefiness, but not quite. I think it tastes great and it's also thought provoking. John, your, your sticky toffee sauce so has got a beautiful shine, it's got a wonderful thickness, light smokiness, and the beef flavour isn't overpowering this dessert. But then bang goes this ice cream with the caviar and the balance of, of that saltiness with the caramel here is brilliant. But you need more of that sticky sauce through the cake. You know, that's what we think of when you yeah. have a, a sticky toffee. The cake is very well made. Not getting the tea, but the sauce has got the beef that really does give it some powerful flavour. And it's not too much, it has the right balance to it. As always, interesting. Thank you. It was a very risky dish. And today, it, it paid off. You know, all three judges loved it. So, I'm so proud of myself. Santosh has served his version of a classic rice pudding made with kodo, a millet grain. Mango snowball filled with frozen mango mousse and fresh mango. Mango leather. Shortbread flavored with Szechuan pepper caramelized mango, and a nimbu pani sorbet, flavored with lemon and mint. Well, Santosh, that is undoubtedly, it's a technical term, it's absolutely beautiful. There is no doubt about it that that beautiful honeyed sweetness of a beautifully ripe mango on top of that soft, really creamy rice pudding, like a little hint of vanilla, absolutely delicious. The shortbread, there's a hint of Szechuan pepper, so it gets a little bit hotter. It tastes fantastic.
Your mango with this uh, take of on a rice pudding, you know, I, I really like it. You've got that crust you've set in the nitrogen and it's given you a little bite. It's delightful. The texture of the rice pudding works and finishing your dessert off with this, the sorbet, is absolutely genius. With a little hint of mint, lemon and mint, absolutely delicious. You've brought your rice pudding from where you're from, the celebration of your festivals. It's like sunshine on a plate. Thank you. Went very well. So nice to hear the comments from the judges regarding Nepalese food. It mean a lot. Mm -hmm.